Bonjour, c'est moi, Dene. Welcome back to another episode of Deadly Premonition 2 here on my channel. In the last episode, we finally talked to Helena Dorman, Lena Dorman, or Lenny Clarkson, after transitioning uh, at the Owl's Nest bar. And, you know, she told us a bit about uh, her past with her dad, her relationship with her dad, the, thing, the things that happened, uh, why and how she created the San Rouge drug and uh, stuff like that. And, well, actually, I had no idea that she was Lenny Clarkson, the long-lost son of PJ Clarkson, but uh, York here told us about it. Well, he shared his uh, realization with Lena, and then she just laughed it off. <laughs> Well, she didn't say no, but she also didn't say yes, so I'm assuming, yes, she is Lenny. <laughs> and, uh, well, she drugged us, <laughs> and when we, were, when we woke up, uh, we, uh, she was already gone. And we made our way to the Clarkson estate, where we are right now, to enter the next singularity over here. I don't know what's in store for us. Well, probably a boss battle, but not right away, I think. I think we will still have to go through... You know, uh, a creepy rundown house with uh, the red shadows. What were they called? Wait. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's just go in. Zack, it's a singularity. The oracle was right on the mark. The mouth to the other world is open, ready to swallow us alive. I think this case is finally starting to come together. Well, I'm just happy that you... Uh make so many realizations, have so many realizations, because even though the plot, I guess, thickens, but uh, I still don't know what's going on, to be honest. Well, something that the Clarksons are deeply involved in, but for now, that's all I know. And that we're probably gonna meet somebody who we already met in the first game. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Here we go again, Zack. You're as excited as I am, aren't you? I don't know if excited is the right word, because I don't want to die, but yeah. You don't have to explain everything. No need for words right now. Not while this centric, provocative experience is begging us to come inside. You know, in a way, I like that all of those sequences seem to be the same, in the same building, you know? But, at the same time, it's also weird, because you'd think it'd be a, well, weird red dream sequence, nightmare sequence, but maybe in a different location, you know what I mean? Oh. Ah. Okay, well, the welcome wagon is here. <laughs> Palsinella, yeah. Okay, well, that was what uh, one of those things was called. Let's just move on. Oh, this seems interesting, but first, of course, I'm gonna rotate the camera a little bit to see if there is anybody waiting for us inside. At least there is nobody just yet, but probably won't take long, right? Gets a lot of rubber bullets already. One enemy dropped them. There was there were some in the crate and <laughs> more in this crate. Okay. Ah! Oh! Ah! What is that? Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh. Did we take some damage or did? We <laughs> yeah, what is that? Well, we did say take some damage, but did we take damage from them, or did we already have that damage? And why can't they go through the door all of a sudden? I don't like this. And I don't like the spiders either. Well, he is stuck. Holy shit. Okay, well, um, the action is starting right away. <laughs> Antidote, okay. You know, speaking of spiders, pretty funny story actually. Well, not funny, but uh, gross and disturbing. Uh, a big fat spider dropped onto me last night. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't want to go into too much detail, but yeah, that was something. Mm hmm, there's one of those over there. There's somebody spawned around the corner. They're gonna come towards us. Hi! Of course! Reload now! I wanna give him a headshot, but, you know, again, the aiming. Sex with the control stick. More rubber bullets, okay. Well, this is a sign of things to come, I'm assuming. Oh, where should I go? No, 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 no. I'll be right with you. Just wait. Okay, I really don't know where I should go. Oh. I thought we got him. Oh no, he took some more hits. Fucking hell, this is a maze. Hello, wake up. There's somebody else. Ah, a spider! Will it despawn or. No, it won't. But. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming that means shooting it once is enough. I hope it's enough. <laughs> should, where should I go? Well, there's... There is nothing back here. Doesn't seem like there is. Well, there's a crate, but uh, this is a dead end, it seems. First aid kit small, okay. Um... Holy shit, I'm gonna get lost in here, I know it. You want something? Then come here. Got a sharpshooter bonus, although I don't know how, to be honest. Okay, so it seems like this would be the way to go because it was blocked off before. So let's just check out the other paths first. must be somebody in here. If not yet, then they will spawn as soon as we step in. What did I tell you? Ah! You fucking bitch! Of course! Reload now! Reload now! You aren't free anymore? What? Okay. Where is he? Yeah, great job. You aren't free anymore. I'm right here, dipshit. Turn around. Holy shit. Well, at first I was afraid, well, to be honest, I'm still a little stressed out when I run into this new kind of enemy, but, uh, I think uh, they aren't as tough as they seem. <laughs> oh, Cup of Joe. Nothing else left in here. Okay, so, with that out of the way, there's still another way we have to check out before we go through the door. Before we go to the door to the left. Was it here? I think it was here, right? Aha! Hello! Don't you dare jump me! He dropped the first aid kit. You know, speaking of first aid kit, I might actually want to use it. Well, we haven't taken that much damage, but... We are running low on space already, so, you know, might as well, right? <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, well, if this door is grown shut as well, I think I might actually want to go 
through the door we unlocked, so to say, a few minutes ago. I think actually, in that case, I do want to go here first. <laughs> I honestly don't know what way is the right way. Uh, guys? Okay, well, I don't know, to be honest. That was easy. Just glad some idiot left the barrels here. Okay, nothing else. I don't know, let's just go through the door and see where this leads. An entire hallway, right? I hate it, I hate it. Don't give me so many options, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, <laughs> so back, back again it is. Before we go through there. Let's go in here again. And let's kill everybody who's in our way in that room. And then... Go through that door and see where this door leads. Wasted a shot, but that's okay. Okay. Well, maybe it doesn't matter which way I go, because they would both lead to the same destination. But I don't know. Uh, yeah, I really don't... No, this is a dead end. Thank goodness this is a dead end, okay. But I'm assuming, since this was so heavily guarded, in a way, we will have some interesting items we can collect right here. Cup of coffee. Rubber bullets. Okay, well, maybe not. <laughs> uh, okay, well, but I'm just happy that there is actually just one way to go. To move on. Oh, oopsie. I hope I didn't forget another way. I didn't, right? I think there were only those two doors that were grown shut. And this is the way to go, as we now know. Hello, turn around, please. Too slow! Pantalone, okay. Yeah, I'm never gonna remember all of those names. Let them come here. Ah, oh, let them come here. He scared me. <laughs> you drop anything? Oh, yes, he did. Okay, first aid kit. Oh, good. I just used one, so that we have another free slot for the first aid kit, and it doesn't get sent to the toolbox, right? I don't know. I can't see how many stuff I'm carrying with me, right? I would have to count everything, yes. Oh no, 30 of 30, okay. So we are full. How much coffee do I have? One, two, three, four, five. In that case, let's fill up our concentration again. Because we're gonna need it, I know we're gonna need it. There's somebody behind me, I know. Ow, you fucking bitch. Great, I'm paralyzed. Do I have something to... Ah, I do, okay. <laughs> okay, well... They are not so bad on their own, but I don't want that many... Enemies all at once, please. Yes, some spiders. Great, great. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. Oh, Whew. okay. Getting the blood pumping again. Now those are gonna despawn in just a second. Just gonna wait for them because I don't want to waste any bullets on them, even though we get showered in bullets, as you can see. We don't know what's in store for us, right? So I think it's best to... Keep as many bullets as possible. No, you're not done. Don't put away your gun. Okay, what do we have here? Coffee, antidote, and anti-num. Yes, great. Uh... 
Uh, yeah. Let that be a lesson to not stand in the way. Wrong place, wrong time. For you, right? <laughs> right place, right time for me, because he couldn't... he didn't get to scare me. Okay, I don't think this is the end. I think there will be another... sequence after this. Because it would be weird if this would be the end already, because... there were two... Mazes, I don't know, let's just say mazes in uh, before the first boss battle, right? I think there were two. And we didn't have a safe room, and, you know, of course it gets more difficult uh, with the time, but... You would think they would throw a safe room your way. Where where are we now? Zack, do you feel it? Something happened here. Maybe, yeah, something might have happened, but something will happen to us if we are, if we stay in here, I think. It's the same feeling I got when we entered the place where Lee stopped. That's it, yes, exactly. We've seen the murder take place, and then we moved back through the portal. We had another sequence, and then after this we had the boss fight, right? So I'm assuming this will be the same. This will be, will be a little cooldown phase. We can profile again. We're going to see some silhouettes again. Then we move back through the portal, and yeah, I think I think that's how things will go, yes. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Oh! Professor R. Lena came in here alone. Pretty brave of her. It looks like nothing but a suicide attempt to me. Exactly. Did she have some trick up her sleeve? Well, she's got a gun up her sleeve, as you can see. Profiling start. Okay, I'm curious to see what this will be. But this is a safe room. We have our toolbox here. Actually... Oh, we definitely don't need that many bullets. I think 100, 200, right? Yeah, I think 200 will be fine, in all honesty. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 first aid kits. Small first aid kits, you know, send... Let's keep five of them, yes, and let's take a medium one out, just to make sure. Did... Huh? Okay, well, we put it in our pocket somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I just wanted one. Okay, that... Pretty confusing that, it's get... that it gets placed up here and not where the other medium first aid kit is, but okay. Um, yeah, we don't need that much coffee. We definitely don't need that much coffee. Uh, two... I'm gonna go with two, I think that will be fine. Uh, yes, 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 okay. Uh, just to make sure, <laughs> take one large first aid kit and... Since we can afford it, let's take... No, let's wait with the cigarettes. Definitely gonna take more of those. Now we have one more free slot. Let's put the cold medication away. And I think that's fine. This seems fine. Okay. Yes. Uh, what do I want to take a look at first? Let's take a look at the fireplace first. Did she put a bomb here? Okay, well in that case, maybe not take a look at the fireplace first. Let's take a look at PJ first. Philip J. Clarkson, the horrible father that Professor R. spoke of. Of course, he looks perfectly calm. It's hard to believe that it's only my second time seeing him. He's an overwhelming man, Zack. Yes, he is. Now you decide to come back, huh? What for? I know you've been hiding from me. Planning God knows what. Too bad it ain't gonna amount to anything. It don't matter what you do. The Clarkson family is already on its last legs. Thanks to you, probably. After only a single century, we're on the verge of losing all that power our ancestors built up for us. Ever since the day you left home, that was the beginning of the end. Okay. Uh, so we only have... Uh, oh, we have. We can take a look at him. Okay. Hello. Can we? Yes. They certainly look a little rough around the edges. 
Perhaps we should just call them the Clarkson Gang. <laughs> They're holding their weapons like total amateurs, which means they must not have had any formal training. What did you expect? Even if they came rushing in all at once, they'd still be no match for us. Exactly. Maybe the Clarksons aren't as fearsome as the rumors make them out to be. Or perhaps they've fallen into such a decline that they can't even manage their own allies any longer. Yes, I abandoned my family. But that has nothing to do with the Clarkson's downfall. It's much more complicated than that. Oh, I agree. It's a hell of a lot more complicated. <laughs> Just look at these assholes. They're so goddamn stupid. They won't even shit unless I tell them to do it. And you know what? Back in the old days, that was A-OK. -okay. Don't like someone? Beat the piss out of them. Need something? Steal it from the sucker next door. How the turntables. <laughs> Life was so much simpler back then. And time flowed in proper accordance with human behavior. But now... <laughs> it's all so complicated now. Everything's changed. Yes, the only constant in life is change, right? Okay, now do I take, do I want to take a look at Lena first or at the little, the cute little device she planted in the fireplace? I think I'm gonna take a look at Lena first. That face, Zack. She looks so calm and collected. Perhaps she intended to take her own life after she murdered Philip, but that wouldn't solve anything. We know how calculating she is. Surely she must have understood that. The legacy of the Clarksons is like a candle in the wind. A sad vestige of what it used to be. But it's not completely dead yet. So what? Uh, you came here to snuff it out yourself? Oh, no. I didn't come to snuff anything out. I came to make it burn red once more. Oh. What in hell is with you? She gonna sacrifice him? Did that red powder finally make you lose your mind? I wouldn't mind if she sacrificed him. <laughs> but uh, considering who we're gonna meet, because again, I'm sure we're gonna meet that one person if enough victims are being sacrificed. In that case, no, honey, stop it. I mean, it's too late now, but yeah. Zack, that's a miniature bomb. Lena must have set it here. How did she do it, though? Is this her trump card? It looks pretty elaborate. Another accolade for the professor. She also displayed expert precision when she used that fire to make my cocktail. Her wisdom gave birth to San Rouge. She must also have an advanced understanding of chemistry. Maybe she's a pyromaniac? <laughs> I just hope she hasn't laid any other traps for us up ahead. Mm, yeah, yeah, that, that would suck. Just like you said, times have changed. You've gotten old. Your power is waning. But I'm not going to let things end here. After you and all the old tumors die, the goddess will take control mm. of Lucare. And all of Louisiana, for that matter. Well, if it's a good goddess, then yes, please. <laughs> yeah. The goddess of fertility, Ooh. with all her newfound might. Sounds interesting. And who's that supposed to be? You? <laughs> That's a good one. You know, you're just as dumb as everyone else. You never see things for how they really are. Oh, no. <laughs> Here. Go on. Take my life. You can have it. Do whatever you want with me. But don't you forget. That's Clarkson blood you got running through those veins. <laughs> oh, you. You took the long way to it. But it looks like you be inheriting our legacy after all. 
Just like I always wanted you to. Oh. <laughs> oh, I won't be inheriting anything. What? I'm not the goddess of fertility either. Well, then... But I'm still powerful. Okay, who died? Did they all die? I didn't hear an explosion. Somebody was shot. But who was shot? Professor R fought hard in this hall. And the last gunshot we heard sounded ominous, Zack. Did it? Everything she says seems to hint at some deeper meaning. The goddess of fertility taking over all of Louisiana with her newfound power? That should be Erzuli Frida. She is the goddess of fertility, right? The details elude me, but she's clearly plotting something big. But if she dies here, she'll never be able to complete it. Why risk it then? Maybe she has an accomplice. You think of that? Oh well. Let's continue on, Zack. I'm sure we'll find the answer once we reach the inner sanctum. Well, first of all, we can collect stuff all of a sudden. Rubber bullet, even more rubber bullets. First aid kit small. You already know we're gonna pay another visit to the toolbox before we go out. Oh, we definitely are gonna do that. So much stuff! They are very, they are really messy, the Clarksons. Let me tell you that much. <laughs> Yep, yeah, literal random items scattered across the floor. Okay, uh, well, 100, 200, yeah, this this goes away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I only want 5, so that goes away. 1, 2, 2 coffees. Uh, 3, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes. I think that's fine. That should be fine, yes. So let's save. Curious to see where this will go and who will be the next boss. I guess... Actually, now that I've seen this, it could be Lena. But... That would definitely mean that she definitely had uh, has an accomplice. Hmm. Melvin. <laughs> we'll see. What, wouldn't that be a plot twist, huh? <laughs> After all that he said about her. Okay, but I think this is a good way to end the episode, even though we are... We haven't reached our goal, so to say, of over 30 minutes. But yeah, I've been recording for a little over 28 minutes now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again very soon in the next episode of Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, or in another game here on my channel. Bye!